welcome back to Bear Food Kitchen where we make easy, delicious meals using the Instapot. My name is Tina Bear, and if you are new to our channel, please like, subscribe, comment. We would love to hear from you. Today we are making the easiest recipe in the world. This is um, veggie lo mein. We're basically going to take all the ingredients and put it in the pot, cook it for four minutes, and you are going to have a delicious meal. Freeze. This, this is the <laughs> easiest recipe. Let me get a spoon. <laughs> I love this recipe. It has all my favorite flavors, garlic, ginger, it has a little bit of chili paste and soy sauce, so you have that acid, and it has spaghetti, it has spaghetti in it. So somewhere. Somewhere around here, it does. And we have a missing spaghetti. <laughs> I am also adding a little bit of honey. The honey breaks through the acid. Gives it a little sweetness. Oh, that's awesome. Here's the spaghetti, I found it, woohoo! So we are going to just add everything in. I'm just going to mix this up. If you have those, seriously, if you have like mushrooms, green onions, bell pepper, anything you have left over, we, we're using bok choy, broccoli, carrots. Okay, so those are some of my favorite things. We're just gonna keep adding in. Just dump and go. Set it, forget it. Don't even have to worry about it. Just put everything in. These are the sugar snap peas. They're my favorite. I eat those all the time. And some broccoli. And then we have bok choy. And bok choy, I love this. It's light. It's a um, it's a cabbage in the cabbage family, but it's light and delicious and juicy. So good. We're gonna put that in at the end. And then we're gonna use four cups of veggie broth. kitchen elf. This is exactly four cups. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cancel. And then we are just going to break up the spaghetti. If you've made spaghetti in the Instapot before, you're going to break it up and crisscross it. So you layer it one way and then you layer it the other way. And you just keep doing that till you get all of the spaghetti in there. So one way, and then the other way. Then we're gonna take the broth and we're gonna pour over the noodles. Try to get all of the noodles covered, just like that. And then you're just going to put the lid on. Four minutes. Make sure you close the seal. Put 
press the minus button down to four. That's it. When we come back, I'll stir in the bok choy, mix it all together. It'll be delicious. All right, you guys, easy peasy veggie lo mein using whatever you have in your refrigerator. Now I set aside some bok choy, but you could also use cabbage, white cabbage or whatever cabbage you like. And we're just gonna give this a little zhuzh. Mix up those noodles and the veggies. Look at that, looks so good. Okay. I'm gonna serve me a plate, a bowl, a plate. Just like that. Now, again, you can add some chicken or some beef. I love it just like this. That's a lot. I'm gonna eat all of it. So good. How delicious that is. You could add some more soy sauce on it if you want. I like it just like this. The cabbage is nice and crunchy. The veggies are cooked perfectly through. So good. Hot. It's delicious. All the flavors absorb in the veggies and the noodles. So you get a little bit of a kick from the chili and all the yummy flavors soak right in. I hope you guys try this. It's delicious as a meal or a side. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, be kind to each other.